Greetings, everyone. Uh, my name is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and the uh, Facebook group, um, the International Brotherhood of Polybonds. And I am here to show you my um, new eight pound uh, traditional uh, Persian meals made of maple wood from revolutionclubs.net. They were made by Mr. Christian Dars. And uh, I received them um, the end of last week. And what I did was, because I was inspired by Mr. Stefan Dogman of France, um, Dogman's Dungeon, the infamous Dogman's Dungeon, I was inspired not to use um, stain or varnish um, uh, or sh uh, and shellac or polyurethane or anything like that. I decided to go natural the way he like prefers and use natural oil, in this case uh, teak oil. Um, I could have used cheaper oil. I could have went with uh, lemon oil, linseed oil, um, but I use teak uh, Watko's teak oil. Uh, there's one called Danish oil that has the stain already in it, but I wanted to go 100% natural. Uh, what I really wanted was tongue oil, which I will do on my next project. I will use tongue oil. So let me just show you the uh, the beauty of the natural wood grain, how it comes out with the oil. Okay, hold on. I know with the other video, it, you couldn't get a, a close-up look. Uh, I even did the bottom, which I know I overdid it. I put six quarts of teak oil. I waited a couple hours in between coats for it to absorb uh, the the can rep recommends 30 minutes in between each coat and then I uh, I finished it off with uh, two coats of Scott's liquid gold spray which I think is a very nice product I can still smell a little bit of it um, I put um, the last I have I wanted to finish up the can of Scott's liquid gold because I already had it at home I have no idea how, uh, maybe my, my mom got it or, you know, I don't know, we already had it. So it wasn't a full can, but anyway, I was introduced to it uh, rather abruptly since I found it under the kitchen sink. But anyway, it's a great product. Um, so it was the teak oil. This is maple. All right, so I just felt that it brought out the natural grain in the wood rather nicely and I like the, the traditional Persian meal grooves with the the part that you know sticks out you know like like a little um, like a little lump or a, uh, a little speed bump if you want to call it that okay rather than just having two lines going around it so, this is uh, the first of a whole series of traditional cone-shaped Persian meals by RevolutionClubs.net. Okay, um, contact Mr. Christian Dars by email and get a price quote because the, the entire product line is not yet on the website, but eventually it will be. All right, and that's that. This one is uh, eight pounds, and I really saturated it because I could feel the oils on my fingers. You know, I, I I know I overdid it with six coats, but I wanted to make sure that it was really well preserved. Being that in the United States, these traditional cone-shaped meals are not easy to come by. Okay. Because there's a lot of jabronis, a lot of jabroni uh, American wood turners out there that make these fat, ugly pickle barrel 
or fat wine bottle shaped clubs because they have to they have to put their a uh, little uh, American or, or Anglo tweak in the style, you know, they have to be different. They have to be different, just like, uh, I don't want to go off on a, on a rant, just like the, uh, the Victorian era um, Americans and British uh, had to uh, make alterations to the original Indian clubs, Indian juries, and they made them bowling pin size, bowling pin and teardrop, which are not bad, actually. You know, they might might have had a purpose, but I just want to show you 100% natural oil as opposed to the synthetic chemicals. Now, I'm not positive, but there might be turpentine, which I believe is natural, mixed in with the teak oil for the uh, Watco brand, and I think they put, they might put that in to accelerate the absorption of the oil into the unfinished wood, because I received these clubs unfinished on purpose, deliberately. I requested it because I wanted to give it a shot, since Stefan Dogman, and I thank him for inspiring me, uh, uh, he is the one that gave me the idea. Stefan Dogman of France, Dogman's Dungeon, he gave me the idea of using 100% natural oils on the clubs. So that's that. Bye-bye. Exercise safely, people. Safety first. Proper form and safety over everything else. Take it easy. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.